In this video, I want to graphically demonstrate how we query data out of a database when that data resides in multiple tables. So again, recall that um, the whole point of a database is I have multiple tables and I relate those tables to each other by having a common column. So in this example, example in the top left, I have a blue table called customers. They have a, a primary key called customer ID, one, two, three, four, five. I have an orange table called orders and its primary key is order ID. So 1000, 1001, 2, 3, and 4. So what's the common column that links these or joins these tables? It's the customer ID. So it's a primary key over here. I bring it over here as a, as a foreign key. So now, order 1000 was bought by customer 4, which happens to be Pete. Well, Pete also bought another product or made another order, 1001. John did 1002. Sally um, did the next two orders, 1003, 1004. Well, let's take a look at this SQL statement. I want to grab the name, the order ID, and their order total. I want to know how much for each order, who bought it, and how much they bought. And I only want to do it where the order total is greater than 50. So, for instance, I don't care about this order or that order because it's less than 50. So here's the trick. I have to, in my from clause, list both tables. I'm going to list my customers table. I have to use the word join, and then I'm going to say the orders table. And the system's not smart enough to recognize that these are the common columns, so you have to tell it. You tell it what you're going to join on. So you say on, and then customer, that table, that column, equals this table, that column. So you're telling it, I want to join on these two columns. Most of the time, the columns you're joining on are the primary key to the foreign key, but not all the time. It's just any two columns that have the same data. There are occasions where it's not necessarily the primary key, foreign key. Anyway, then we're going to have a where statement and an order by statement. So what does the system do when I hit enter on this command? Now recall, we write it in this order, select from, where, order by. But the system does not process it in that order. It processes the from clause very first. And so basically what it does is it's taking a look at these two tables and goes, all right, those are the tables they want. And they literally grab the entire table. And then they'll grab the order table, the entire table. But it only grabs the rows from those two tables where there's a connection. So in other words, um, customer 4, I see him over here, and it's over here, so I will grab those records. Customer 1, I see it over here, I see it over here, so it grabs that record. Same thing with customer 2, there's that number, there's that number, I grab those records. But how about customer 5? He's not over here, right? He's never placed an order. Same with customer 3, never placed an order. So I've got one ginormous table with all the columns, customer ID, name, address, order ID, every column, but the rows that get returned are only those where customer ID in one table equals customer ID in another table. So it joins those two tables and only brings back the records where I have a connection. All right, so Paul and Adam are missing from this new table. Then, so that was step one, bring the tables together and eliminate or bring back only those records where there's a connection, where there's a join, an inequality. All right. Then the next thing it says is, ooh, but there's an order where the order total is greater than 50. So now what it does is eliminates those records. So it then says, oops, I don't want these because those are not greater than 50. So I get rid of those two records. All right. So that was step two. Step three says, okay, given this ginormous table with what remaining records I have, what columns do they want to see? So then it runs through and starts eliminating the columns except for name, because that's what I asked for, order ID, address, whoops, I didn't ask for address, I should have gotten rid of that, and then order total. So real quickly, we'll fix that. We'll go here, get the address column, Right click, we'll delete those cells, shift everything to the left, hit OK, perfect. So now my select statement just was executed. I'm only showing those columns out of our ginormous table 
um, that we asked for in the select. And then finally, the order by. At the very last step, we could do that. And so we could sort on that column. There we go. So now we have our order by. So it's the first step is joining, pu pulling the tables together and finding those records where we have an equality between the two common columns. So that's what's happening behind the scenes. Now, let's do an example where we have three tables. So I'll run over here. Same customers, same orders, but I have a fourth table. Here's an order ID, 1000. But on that order, they bought two things, item one, item two. And the first one was a book, the second one's a CD. Here's the, they bought two books, one CD, and the price for each of those, okay? Looking at order 1001, that order had one item on it, a mug. Order 1002 had three items on it. Order 1003, just one item, and 1004, just one item. Okay, so what if the question is, I want to select the name, the order ID, the order total, the product out of this table, and the quantity out of this table. Okay, so those are my columns. In my from statement, I can now say I want to join customers, because that's where the name is. Join orders, because that's where the order total is. And again, I have to tell it, how do you want to join? This column, order ID, whoop, the ID fell off, is linked, or that should be customer ID. That's a mistake. So I fixed that mistake. So anyway, I'm joining on the cust ID in the customer table to that right there. And so the system will read that left to right. And the first thing it does is what I mentioned in the, a few minutes ago is it joins those two tables eliminating rows where I don't have a connection. So three and five, no connection. Then I go on to say join again. And I want to join these two, or this gigormous table, to order items. Well, what's the connection? What am I joining on? It's the order ID of basically this table right here is going to join to the order ID of this table. So what does it do? And notice is down here that Pete placed two orders and 1,000, it runs up here and says, whoa, on order 1,000, I have two rows. So basically, it brings them both back, the book and the CD. Order 1,001, yep, I got a connection, one row, so it brings back that row. 1,002, oh man, so there's 1,002, there's three things on that. So I got a connection from that row one, two, three, so it brings back all three of those records, and you get the idea, 1,003, 1,004. So it basically joined these two tables together, and then it says, all right, based on that number, let's go grab the records out of here where we have a connection, where there's a match. And then finally, of course, the select statement says, oh, for, I'm sorry, the where statement says, now we got to eliminate all of these rows where the order total is less than 50, so we'll go ahead and get rid of that row and that row because they're less than 50. And now we go through in step three and go, okay, now what columns do we want? So I've already eliminated those columns, but I wanted the name, order ID, order total, product, and quantity. So basically it runs through and deletes those columns. And finally, we can sort on the order total as the very last step. But notice people's names show up multiple times. Well, that's because on John, he bought three things. And the minute I ask for the product, it's that's what I'm going to get. And Pete shows up twice because in order 1000, he shows he bought two things. In this example, their names are only showing up once because I'm only asked for their name, the order ID, and the order total. So the bottom line is, when you want information from multiple tables, I want to get the person's name and what products they bought, you are going to have to join or connect those tables on their common columns, primarily the primary key and the foreign key, all the way through. And you do that by listing the table, typing the word join, list the next table, and then specifying what, are the, what is the common column. And then you have to, if you're, if you're continuing on to get information from another table, you just type the word join, list the other table, and then specifying the common column between those two tables. 
um, and that will process first. The where clause will be second, and then the third will be eliminating those columns to only show you the ones that you've asked for in the select statement. So now in the next video, we'll actually demonstrate this in MySQL uh, using our books database.